Headlamps in cars are essential for everyday life. We are used to seeing them in every car in the street, but modern headlamps are product of more than a century of history. Let's go for a drive. Cars were used exclusively during the day, because lighting was not conceived for cars yet, and so the night was automobiles' enemy until the first acetylene lights were invented in 1898. They are simple lamps that produce and burn acetylene, which is created by the reaction of calcium carbide with water. But as you can imagine, it wasn't enough just to be resistant to wind and rain. It is also important to make a powerful light. So, after some attempts, electric lights were invented and set for the first time in a Cadillac Delco in 1912. Halogen lamps started to develop and they have been improved in the last century until today. Halogen gas lamps have a tungsten filament and a bulb filled with halogen gas. When electricity runs through the filament, tungsten reacts with the halogen gas and produces light. In almost all the 20th century, halogen lamps have improved not only by emitting more light with less energy, but also by setting them in a certain way in the car in order to gain in directivity and lighting precision. We have tested three cars. The first one is a Lada Niva from 1989. Light is emitted from two spherical lamps, and although power is sufficient, Light beam is not very directional and the visibility is reduced to the front of the vehicle. That is why the installation of additional lights is highly recommended. Our second candidate is the Toyota Land Cruiser from 2004. The improvement in visibility is considerable because visual field is extended to the surroundings of the car due to the shape of the cavity of the lamp. The third participant of the test is an Audi A4 from 2009. Although the technology of halogen lamps is practically the same, it is a clear improvement in directivity and light describes a certain shape on the road, which illuminates the right side of the road more than the left side, so as to prevent glare effects. But technology is permitting cars to have more precise lights and keep lighting quality in any circumstances. For example, Shannon lights are being introduced in our car since 1991, when a BMW was the first car to incorporate them. Shannon light is based on an electric arc created by a potential difference between two tungsten pieces. The arc is produced in a glass chamber filled with Shannon gas. This technology needs 35 watts to generate twice more light than the 55 watts the halogen lamp needs. So Shannon light consumption is 25% lower. What is more, the light is stronger and the visibility is much better with this technology than with the halogen bulb lamp. And each Shannon lamp lasts 2,500 hours working, five times more than a halogen lamp. <laughs> LED lamps are also appearing in our cars, but they mainly have a single function yet. They are used as a daytime running light, enabling cars to be seen more clearly. LED technology is based on a PN junction when under a potential difference, a current is created and due to the material of the diode, light is emitted. So, anytime you switch the lights of your car on, Keep in mind that they are not only a lighting part of your car, but also a result of more than a century of research and technology development. 